a high float surf, it's a short float surf, whatever it might be. All these things play in because now I've taken all the information because I'm all in. And the second part then is the communication I'm having with my teammates. Okay? He's in area one. It's on it's we're taking left seams. Middle front, step in with me. Okay? Who's gonna take this seat right here? You are you're gonna tell me, okay? You're gonna tell me right now. Tell me what to do. Okay, seat to left. You have left seat. Okay, I'm gonna you're gonna confirm it as I I'm gonna read we're gonna we're gonna talk in the game, okay? And at this point now, I'm gonna do my job because we're gonna develop trust. Okay, the number one thing on developing trust. Who said he was gonna pass the seat? Whose ball is this? So when this serve comes to this seat, who has to pass it? Will that always happen right now? No, it won't. It will happen is I'm going to steal it, or I'm going to take a fake step, you're going to back out, or you're going to think I'm going to take it and we're going to get ace. The key to developing good communication between the passers isn't that you're going to state your job. But you're going to do your job, even if you don't execute to the level you would like. You're going to do it, because you're not going to get A's. Because at that, let's take it to those big moments again, right? Late in matches, big moments, big games. They're going to serve seams. The better teams when you play in bigger games are not serving the ball to your midline. They're serving the ball in seams to make you communicate. And if I don't trust with all my heart that you're going to take this ball at 13 all, what am I going to do? I'm going to take it. And then we're going to fight over it and we're going to get ace. Because I don't trust you're going to take it. Or you don't trust that I'm going to take it if the roles reverse. So as we're communicating here, if you say you have this scene, then you have this scene. And if you pass it 15 feet off the net as we're getting better at it, that's significantly better than me stealing this ball and passing it through it and actually breaking down the trust of the unit, of the passing unit. So, as we're working on this right now, we're working on trust, we're working on communication, we're working on stepping in. But most importantly, when we're in, we're in. The preparation, we take the information, we communicate it, we execute. And when we execute it, right, we're trying to keep it real simple. We're trying to get our platform out when it leaves our legs. We're trying to get it out into the line of the serve as fast as possible, away from our body. Right? And we're trying to finish that contact with solid contact to the middle of the court. Keep it really simple. This is a true jump serve. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Does that make sense? And right now, the difference in the kind of drifting in and at the last second, not only hurts your individual reps, your, your individual technique, but it actually breaks down the trust between passers. And it will rear its ugly head when you need to side out the most. So if it's, what happens when the server leaves area one and he moves over to area five? Who's gonna take this ball now? You're gonna still take this ball? It probably will shift the right seams if the ball is coming from here, and I'm probably gonna take this ball. So that communication has to happen. Now it's all up to me. If the ball comes to seam, I'm taking this ball. So when you guys are working on it right now, I know that Nick has told you guys the technique that we're working on. I want you to have your imaginary circle in area six and the area five. When you step into it, you need to be all in. All in with the information you're taking. What the service can happen, all in with your communication, all in with your communication during the play. Mine, 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 mine. Yours, 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 in, in, out, out, talking all the way to the play. And all in with your physical preparation and finished product. All right? If it's not good enough, we'll get better. But we got to know what we're working on. For then we're going to go right back and when you watch the video, try not just to watch the ball and focus just on the result of did it go right to the setter's hand. Did you step in? Were you prepared? Did you communicate? Did you platform get out early? And did you finish? Those are the things you're looking on. You got it? Okay, let's go. Let's take a look. 